Well, hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici from the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, and today I cannot wait to show you how to make this super cute Halloween treat. It features a bunch of product from our new holiday catalog, and then some things that you may recognize from our um, annual catalog that was released earlier this summer. So these are awesome pillow boxes that we are using. So it's not even a die, you don't have to cut anything. So it makes it a really kind of a quick, simple treat to put together. So let me show you some of the other products from the holiday catalog that we're using on here. And then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you just how to put this together. So let me see, I am gonna show you, oh, my designer series paper because this maybe doesn't even catch your eye, right? But this is um, part of our Toil and Trouble designer series paper that is actually, so it's in our annual catalog, or not annual, excuse me, our holiday catalog, the 2018 holiday catalog. Um, on page 49, you will find the Toil and Trouble designer series paper. So I'm going to flip through because I think this is really small, so it's a little hard to see all the fun detail and um, print that's on this paper, but we're using that Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper, and then we're using this awesome, that black 3 8 inch glittered organdy ribbon. It is so much fun. And then the stamp set that we are using is, this is the Spooky Sweets stamp set right here. So they've got the fun bats that, of course, the really cool thing is those bats, when you punch them out, coordinate perfectly with the spooky bats punch. It comes in a bundle as well, which you can see right there. So if you like the stamp set and the punch, you can get them both in the, both in the bundle. We've got Happy Halloween as a sentiment, Spooky Sweets, and No Tricks, Just Treats. And the other cool thing about this stamp set is that Moon and Star also coordinate with our Twinkle Builder Punch that is in our annual catalog. So you don't have to do a lot of die cutting here. Um, punching is more, um, so that's why I really loved this stamp set because of the punches that coordinated with it because then it makes it super fast and easy to put cute Halloween projects together. Plus I love like that splotchy background stamp right there as well. So let me show you then, like I said, this designer series paper, cause you gotta see it bigger and live, I think. So the Toil and Trouble designer series paper, I'm gonna scoot that over just a little bit so we can get this pulled out. So hopefully you guys will be able to see. So lots of fun witches and they're cute. They're not mean looking witches, right? On one side, I've used most, most of this paper on those treats. You can see there are some cauldrons on the back of that fun polka dot paper, right? And then, let's see, more witches there. Ooh, some cute ghosts. And then the fun um, kitty cat background there too. So, and these ghosts are kind of funny too. They're like making funny faces. They're not mean looking. A really cool purple stripe. I love that paper, oh my gosh. And then some fun pumpkins. We can do lots of great things with the pumpkins, right? And then brooms, those are kind of fun, right? Just a different pattern, a different look. And then the hats as well. So the witch's hats that obviously it looks like they came right off of the witch's heads and then they put them on this paper as well. And then funny frogs, like leaping frogs. I thought that was really, really fun that they put that in there. And then the last piece has bats on one side. And oh, I love that print too. Oh my gosh. This, just as I'm flipping through this with you guys, I'm like, oh my gosh, there are so many cool ideas that um, I'm thinking of as I'm looking at this paper. So very, very cool pack of Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper. And then, like I said, these are the pillow boxes that are in our annual catalog. I will give you item codes and names um, for everything that we're using in the details of the YouTube video. So look for that too so you don't have to go hunting anywhere. I'll give you all that information right in the details. Um, and then I think that's really about it that we're using. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, like I said, this is just really gonna take no time at all to put together, um, but that's sometimes good, right? It makes it easy um, to make because I had a whole bunch of these I needed to make. Um, so let's see, we are gonna do, you know what? Actually, we're gonna do our die cutting first. I think that was helpful for me with this circle. I kind of liked it punched out and then I could stamp where I wanted. So let's do that and then we will do our stamping. So I'm gonna grab the big shot. <clears throat> I've got my magnetic platform as always. Um, we are using the layering circle framelits. So let's see, I've pulled the three out that we need. I'm gonna tell you guys which ones they are though. So this one we're gonna to use to cut out our pumpkin pie cardstock is the second largest, can you guys see that? Let me scoot it over here a little bit more. This is the second largest 
scallop edge framelit in the layering circle framelits. Then this one is the one we're going to use to cut out the polka dot piece. And that is, let's see, one, two, the three, the third largest straight edge circle. And then the last one that we need is this circle right here. So let's see if I can figure that out. We're going to go smallest. So one, two, it's actually, yeah, the third smallest circle with the straight edge that we're going to use to, to cut out that white circle right there. Okay, so you guys know the sizes, which ones we're using, and you can do it however you would like, but I always like to give all that information in case you want to do it just like we're doing here. Okay, so we're going to put, we're going to try to get all of this on one crank through here, which I think we're going to be able to do. We've got this framelit here and then our white one right here. So I think we're good there. Good, I, I all of a sudden I was like, oh shoot, did I forget to take the top plate off before I put all those on there? But fortunately I did not forget, so we're all good. It was laying over on the side of my table. Sorry for the wiggle there, ladies. Okay, so now we're gonna pop these things off of here and we are done with our big shot. So super simple. Oops, things are flying everywhere. Okay, we're just gonna scoot that right out of the way. And then let's do our stamping. So on this little guy, I want to stamp. I'm going to move this into view so you guys can see here too. I've got my gorgeous grape ink. Is that? All right, I'm trying to make sure. Yep, I'm just working over in the corner it looks like. Okay, but that's okay. So scoot these over a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to stamp my spooky sweets kind of down a little bit so I've got room to put my bat up at the top there, right? And then with my pumpkin pie ink, I've got the little stars. I just thought it needed a little something more. Oops, that's kind of sticking. So we're gonna put a couple stars right on there. So that's it for that one. And then we are going to stamp. We've got our bats here. And like I said, these bats, this stamp, of course, lines up, I don't know, I'm not, am I gonna be able to show you? Well, basically it's gonna go like that. But these line up perfectly. So if you wanna punch out three bats all at once, you can. I wanna use the biggest bat right there, so I'm just gonna ink up. I mean, you're gonna get them all, and that's okay. But I just wanna make sure the biggest one gets on my paper here. I'm gonna stamp it down kinda low. You know what, that didn't get inked up quite as well. Let's do that one more time. I'm gonna press down, make sure, there we go. There's a better image, right? And I've got my other spooky bats flying all over my paper now too. Okay. So we are just going to slip this guy. Can you see? We're going to slip him in. Oh, fooey. Do I have my scissors? My, um, I think I need to kind of, <laughs> all right, we are totally improvising here, ladies. That is kind of getting in the way right there, I think. I haven't quite figured out. You know these builder punches? You always have to be a little bit strategic in how you, still being funny. There, that's going to do it for us. So there we go. Now we can get it in. Just so. I guess I made these a little bit ago and I'm just now able to film the video. If I had made the video right after I made them all, that mistake never would have happened because I would have had it lined up exactly where I needed it. But you can see it works. Just give yourself enough of a strip to work with that if you have to rip something off or cut it off. I guess I forgot my scissors. Oh, that's crazy. You know what else I forgot is my adhesive. How did I do that? So you know what? I'm going to go run and grab that real quick. So mm, pause for like two seconds. I will be right back. Here I go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. And then here I come. That might have been more than two seconds, but hopefully not too much. Okay. So now we can put this little baby together. All right. Let's make our little tag. I think that's kind of handy to just get him done and all ready to go. So we're gonna put some adhesive on there. I put dimensionals on the back of this little, this little white sweet treats tag. So we're gonna do that. Okay, peeling the dimensionals off the back. We're gonna add this kind of again in the bottom corner. And then this, I just put adhesive on the back of this guy. You guys can see that cool cauldron. Isn't that fun? So we're gonna pop this one right on here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals on the back of this guy too. So he'll fit right on our little pillow box there. Now, the pillow box, so they come like this. They've got the little um, 
finger hole, I guess, to help you open. So you want to push that one down in first and then flip that. And then you want to add your candy. So I found these are um, just little Kit Kats, like a variety pack, but tiny ones. You could, so I put two in there. I, I was trying to, three don't quite work. So anyway, two or three of those I think are good. And then just fold that down there too. So see how simple that is? Um, they're just so easy to work with. And then we're going to grab that awesome the glitter organdy ribbon. Oh my gosh, so much fun. I'm actually about at the end of the bolt here, so we're just gonna pull this guy right off. I'm gonna get rid of that. And then, this is how I found that it was easiest to do this. You need about 14 inches. You know what, let's just cut that off right now then. So, I made my little notes here. You need about 14 inches of this organdy ribbon. So we're gonna snip that off and get rid of that. So then this was my little trick I, I learned. It's just kind of a silly little trick, basically. Um, to help, because this ribbon kind of flies everywhere. So, boop, there's my trick. I just put my scissors on top of the ribbon so it doesn't go all over the place. Because I wanted to use my linen thread and tie a bow around this ribbon. And you can see it's already Kind of feeling like it's got a mind of its own, but this helped kind of hold it in place um, so that I could tie the bow around the ribbon. So let's get that going the right direction there. Okay, there we go. And then you can always move the ribbon down after you get it tied on. The main thing is just getting it tied on here. Okay, I'm gonna trim that off. And then you see you can kind of just lift that up and scoot that down and those kind of go winging all over the place but that's okay that's kind of the fun of it and then this is it last step ladies so super duper simple but they're so cute um, everyone loved them I made them for an event recently and everybody loved them so look at that see how just simple 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 that is to make so I want to make sure you guys all know this. I have been doing um, Facebook Live videos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the YouTube video here because then you will see the Facebook Live videos that will get you, um, if you put an online order in, um, you get the projects that I demonstrate on Facebook Live and your name also goes into a drawing to win the prize that I'm giving away and I do Facebook Live every single Friday at 11.30 Eastern Time on our Stamp Studio Facebook group, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. You can find links to everything on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, so ink with a K. So you can, the, all the um, YouTube videos are on there, the Facebook Live videos are on there. When you're ready to shop, you can shop online 24-7 at my Stampin' Up! website at amysuzanne.stampinup.net. Make sure you grab the host code that's on my blog on that right-hand side toolbar. That's how I know that you want to get the projects that I demonstrated on Facebook Live and get your name entered into the drawing to win the giveaway that I do on Facebook Live. That's all with just a $30 online order. If you bump your order just up to $50, you always get a free embellishment for me in your thank you card too. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you soon. I hope you enjoyed these cute treats. Bye everybody.